Welcome to FreshMy.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to texture map a cube or a box. It sounds very simple, especially when when you create a box, its UVs are automatically correct. So if I I'm just going to create a polygon cube, smooth shade that. Let me frame in on it. I'm going to go to my Edit UVs menu. Go down to UV Texture Editor. My box is selected. If I deselect it, you can't see the UVs. But if I select the box, you can see the UVs over here in my UV texture editor. That looks really good. Everything lined up correctly. It looks like our box, somebody took a box cutter and just opened it up and laid it flat, which is what we want. I'm going to purposely go in here. I'm just going to right click, select UV, and I'm just going to start grabbing these UVs. And with my move tool, I'm just going to start messing stuff up on purpose. Just make it look like a total mess. Maybe we can even rotate these. That's probably messed up good enough. Alright, so there's our UVs now. Totally not what we want, but if I go in here, go back to object mode, right click, assign new material, Lambert, over where the color swatch is, I'm going to click on the button to the far right, click on file, oh yeah, file, I'm going to go to my desktop, and I have a checkerboard pattern, alright, six, so we can see our texture, and if you look, that's definitely not what we want. Very bad, very, very bad. So the way we fix that is we open up our UV texture editor back up. We need to go up to create UVs. We could do a planar mapping and just do one side at a time. Or we can do an automatic mapping, with, which is kind of like several planar maps done at once. I'm going to open up the options box for the automatic mapping. Our cube has six sides. It's got a top, a bottom, and then four going around. So we've got it on six. I say edit, reset settings. Okay, I'm just at default, and the default's already six. So I'm just going to click on project. And now over here, you can see all the projections that it did. So it did kind of like a planar projection from the top, the sides, the bottom. So now we have, it looks like, all the pieces of our cube, but just laid out a little differently. And these aren't actually our polygon faces. This is our UVs. So what we want to do is let me just click over here in our UV texture editor. I'm going to right click, select UV. And I'm going to marquee drag around all those white boxes, which is our edges of our UVs. Use my move tool, and I'm just going to move those down and out of the way. Okay, now over here in the perspective view, this, let me go to five here. Here's the front of our cube, the top, left and right sides, the bottom, and the back. What I want to do is, when I import my UVs into photo editing software, let's say I wanted to be able to just, and you can organize it any way you want to, but let's say I wanted to lay it out in such a way that I could just, if I want to type something that just wraps around this cube, around the side, the front, to the right side, and around to the back, then I want it laid out specifically so that I can do that. And then the top, where I can just write straight, and then the bottom. If I wrapped it to where this top, bottom, and back were laid out flat, then for the back side, I'd have to write upside down if that makes sense. And then the front, I could write normal. So I think as we do this, you'll kind of get a feel for what I'm referring to here. All right, let me go back to object mode. Here's our UVs. Let's say I'm going to right click, go to edge, and let's find our edges here. All right, if you look over here in our UV editor, you see two edges highlighted. That's because we've got two faces on our cube that share the same edge. All right, so one of these two squares over here in our UV editor one of those two is representing the top face of our cube. We don't know which one, so let's click on another edge. Okay, we got an edge way up here in our UV editor and this edge over here. So clearly, this bottom right is, our, is the top. 
Okay, that's the right side. There's the front. Okay, it's just the way we want it. So that way, if we were to just write something in our texture editor over here, and we just write hello, then it would be oriented correctly. So if we had this cube, or this square in our texture editor, if that was rotated the opposite direction where this edge was on top, then in order to write hello for it to appear correctly, we would have to write hello upside down, and then it would appear correctly. So I want to make sure everything's turned the right way in my texture editor. All right, I'm going to right click, go to UV. I'm just going to select on one of the UVs on our top face, which is going to be the corners. Anywhere you see two lines connect together, that's going to be a UV. So right there, I just clicked. You can see the UV is highlighted. Now I'm going to press and hold down the control button on my keyboard. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select to shell. What that does, that's going to select all of the vertices that are connecting on that square. So I'm just going to move that kind of up over here out of the way. I'll go back to edge mode, so right click, edge, and let's say, actually we want, yeah that'll work, we want this next face, the front face, we want it right down here at the bottom. That way we can write uh, normal, we don't have to write anything upside down. Alright, so let's find out what that is. Right click, edge, I'm going to select, just click on that edge, and now if you look over here we see an edge highlighted. So I'm going to click on that edge, this is oriented the right way. So now with that edge selected, I'm going to press and hold down the shift button on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, and I'm going to click on moves and sew UVs. And what it does, it connects those two together. Now to move that back out of the way, I'm just going to right click, select UV, and just click on one of the UVs like we did before. I'm going to press and hold down the control button, right click, and now I can select to shell again. It selects all the UVs that are connected, and I can move that out of the way. Okay, so this right here is the front of our cube. So since we want to be able to just write across like one continuous sentence just going all the way around. I want these other side faces, or well, UVs on those side faces down here on the left and right side of this square. So I'm going to go back to edge mode. I'm going to click on one of those edges and I'm going to look to see what highlights. And this one highlights. It looks like it's oriented the right way so I'm just going to shift, right click, move and sew. And it puts it on there. Other side, I'm just going to click on the edge, look over here to see what's highlighted. This is highlighted, so I'm just going to shift, right click, move and sew. We'll go ahead and add our bottom, so I'm going to click on this bottom one, shift, right click, move and sew. And now the only thing left is we want it to stay on, this is the back. I don't want to put it up here on the top or the bottom because I just want to be able to do one continuous sentence that runs around our cube. So I'll just select that edge that works. It's not oriented the same way, but it's okay. If I click, shift, right click, move, and so, it flips it around to the way it needs to be, or actually rotates it around. So now, right click, UVs, marquee drag around all of our UVs. You can move that up here into this upper right coordinate of this coordinate, this grid. Use my scale tool, scale that down to make sure it fits in there. And I'm going to use up as much as this quadrant that I can. So I'm just going to scale this out pretty much all the way towards the edges. Another thing I could do is I could just go up here. I got these UV selected. A UV that is on at least every face. And then I can go up here to the uh, top, right here to this icon. And it will put it on there. But I don't want it to be that way. I want it to be the way it was. So I'm just going to keep it like this. Just make sure it fits in there. I'm done, so I'm going to go to Polygons, down to UV Snapshot, I'm just going to click on it, and what that's going to do is it's going to take a picture of these UVs. Size, 1024 by 1024, that's usually what I do when I use textures, that's a good size. Everything else doesn't, I mean, image format, TIFF, target, whatever you need, I'm just going to, I'll go ahead and leave it on TIFF, sometimes I'll use PNG, uh, it just depends on what's required. I'm going to click on uh, let's, before I click on OK, I need to make sure it's going in a, a good place. I'm going to browse and go to my desktop. Click Save.
That was actually the timer that I had to keep this under 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and end here and we'll pick up back in the next session.